ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our B2B educational webinar. And we're having a meeting with CFAM, the Franco-American Center for Management today. And our lovely guest is Ms. Rachel, and she's the Director of International Enrollment. And she was actually there in our Mumbai workshop. So if you are from Mumbai or from India or somewhere around, you must have met her at our workshop as well. And I'm Jones, Marketing Specialist for Met24 and also your host today. Thank you so much, Jones, and thank you everyone for being here. I'm Rachel Stowe. I'm Director of International Enrollment uh, at CFAM, uh, as Jones mentioned, and um, CFAM is a French-American management school. So you can see there at the bottom of the screen um, our partners in the U.S. and Canada, which um, I'll kind of go in more detail as to how those partnerships work, what makes us a French-American school, et cetera, a little bit later in the presentation. So our location is Lyon, France, which is the second largest urban area in France behind Paris. Um, CFAM has existed since 1986. And we have about 300 students. So we're a very small institution. Uh, we call ourselves the C family, um, which kind of uh, plays out in all different areas of CFAM administration, professors, classroom, um, support services, uh, student body, et cetera. We have two intakes, uh, September and January, so fall and spring. And uh, we do have a summer term, but it only runs from mid-May to mid-June. So it's not ideal for an intake since um, then students would kind of have the summer free. Um, it's possible, but it's just not ideal. So we, we stick with, with fall and spring intakes. And our campus is called HEP Campus. It is uh, located um, pretty much in central Lyon. And we share our campus with 24 other schools, uh, mostly of our same size, different disciplines, um, more French focused schools, et cetera, so that we share resources, we share study spaces, classrooms, library, um, but we have relatively new facilities. They have, have were built about 15 years ago or so. Um, and so it's, um, it's very collaborative, the, the environments where, where our students study. So to talk uh, more in detail about our actual program, um, it's a very unique program at CFAM uh, because the majority of students come to CFAM in order to earn dual degrees. So that is one way that we work with these partners in the US and Canada. Um, in that students spend three years on our campus here in Lyon, and then they depart their fourth year. So this is at the undergraduate level. They depart their fourth year to go to the United States or Canada to one of our partner institutions um, so that they actually earn two degrees. So they earn our degree and they earn the degree from the partner. Instruction is completely in English from day one. So um, students do not have to know French in order to come to CFAM. So that's an advantage. Uh, they will learn French while they're here. And uh, we, uh, as a support staff, are there for them, especially at the beginning, if they need French for any kind of logistics or getting acclimated um, into the city. If they need it, we're there for that. But in general, um, they don't. So usually it's, um, it's enough to know English, uh, but we don't require French, like I said. Um, and then as far as the transition between the third and fourth year, the students get um, a streamlined process. It's very straightforward. There's no caps. Uh, they don't have to do anything on their own. Uh, we do it all with them, visa, everything. So it's a very streamlined process between uh, years three and four. So to give you a little more uh, elaboration on what the two degrees are at the undergraduate level, um, the CFAM degree is RNCP level seven. So it's a manager, um, general management degree, excuse me, um, with an international focus. It's considered a professional master's degree. So it's M2 for, um, for the French system. The degree that they earn from the partner in year four is a BBA. So bachelor's of business administration. And we only partner with AACSB accredited institutions. So the students graduate with the RNCP level seven and an AACSB accredited um, 
business major, business, uh, bachelor of business. Excuse me. These are the partners that we work with at the undergraduate level. So um, Northeastern University and Temple University, those are the two oldest partners that we have. So we've worked with them since 1986. Uh, Pace came on not soon, um, not too long after. Um, Siena College and Ryder University um, are newer. We've partnered with them for about 15 to 20 years. And then Menlo College and University of New Brunswick are our newest partners. So those are two partners that have um, we formed since um, since I came on four years ago. So um, we wanted to have a partner on the West Coast and we wanted to have a partner in Canada. So that was um, why we, we started working with them. And again, students have guaranteed admission to any of these partners. They get the full degree from the partner. Um, so it's a really, really amazing opportunity. Now, as far as majors go, um, I mentioned that the CFAM degree is a general international management degree, uh, professional master's level. The BBA that they earn is in any major that they want from the partner. So they actually get all of their major courses in that fourth year. So you can see um, the list here for Northeastern, Pace, and Temple. Um, most of the majors are kind of 100% fully business, classic, finance, accounting, uh, management, et cetera, marketing, but there are a few that kind of bleed out into other areas like management info systems, business law. So there are a few things that can um, stray a little bit from business, but in general, um, it really does kind of stay on that business umbrella. Um, and then here are Menlo, Siena College, New Brunswick, and Ryder University. So you can see their, their majors as well. I will mention here that University of New Brunswick is, um, is a two year, uh, so it's a three plus two due to some of the laws that they have there. Though at the moment we're working on developing that to become an MBA program. So the students do two years, but come out with an MBA. Hasn't come to realization yet, but we're working on it because of that two year, um, because of that two year extension and it can seem a bit long for students sometimes. At a postgraduate level, um, students that already have a Bachelor of Business uh, are given the opportunity to actually come to CFEM for just one year because we do have all four years available on our campus. Students are not required to depart the fourth year to the United States or Canada. That is what most students come to CFEM to do, but we always have a percentage of students that choose to do all four years with us, in which case they can major in marketing or finance, and then they just have that professional master's. They don't also have the BBA from the US. So because we have that fourth year um, option, we also can bring in students that already have a bachelor's to just do the fourth year with us. So what that means is they go straight into our fourth year, they earn the professional master's in one year, and if they want to also earn a dual degree, because we wanted to have that available for, for all of our students, they can depart a second year to the United States or Canada to one of our MBA partners. So you can see at the bottom of the screen there, Monmouth University, Siena College, Mary Washington in the United States. Uh, we do have a partner in France. So if we have someone that just wants to stay in France, they can get an MSc um, in Paris at ISC. Or uh, with the Canadian option, we have Laval, where students can go and get an MBA in global business. So essentially, what this means is that students can do three plus one, and then even the students that do the dual degree at the undergraduate level can continue and do an MBA if they want. Students can do four plus one, so four years at CFAM at an undergraduate level, earn the professional master's, and then depart for an MBA in the US or Canada or one plus one for students that are already a postgraduate level, already have a BBA and want to earn two master's degrees. Here's a little bit more elaboration with the concentrations that are available at the MBA level. So you can see there um, Laval has the most options. Uh, with a lot of different concentrations. Um, I've also got um, the prices on there, which I'll get, of course, more into tuition and fees um, a little bit later, but just to give you a general idea um, of all of the different uh, majors and concentrations that are available at a master's level for students. So just a recap, fourth year in the USA or Canada, and, if it, and then they can go on to do a fifth year. So this is saying three plus one plus one, like I mentioned. 
or four plus one or one plus one to kind of, again, give you a recap, because I know it's it's a lot of information because there's so many opportunities. But this is also something that um, is reviewed with students regularly so that they're well aware of what, they're, what opportunities are available to them while they're students here. So I'd like to mention here, um, because the dual degree is not necessarily a traditional, um, a traditional pathway for students, I like to kind of mention what are the benefits of it? Why is this such a great deal for students? Um, firstly, I mean, I think that overall, what you'll see kind of the overarching theme is the international nature of having, you know, multiple credentials from multiple countries. Um, and this, you can see our CFEM alumni are in over 70 countries because this expands your international network. This attracts students that are looking for this international exposure. So our campus itself becomes very international. Um, as it's 25% it's international, as you can see there, which um, it's we have 32 nationalities represented and with a student body of 300 students, that's a very high, um, high concentration of international students. Um, and then it kind of on a practicality level, uh, you have access to two alumni bases because we have a career services office at CFAM, we have um, an alumni website and alumni coming back, um, you know, with positions that they're hiring for all the time. And then you're gonna have the same thing at the partner university that you transfer to. So if you go to Northeastern, if you go to Pace, whatever it is, you're gonna have access to their alumni base because you are an alumni, an alumnus. You are going to have access to their career services office. So it's a huge, huge advantage. Um, just like I said, on a, very, on a very practical level and on expanding your network. There's also the financial benefit. Um, these calculations, I did them on my own. So I kind of gathered the information from the various partners' websites, um, as well as our tuition and fees. So you can kind of see the comparison um, because when students come to CFAM, they pay our tuition and fees the first three years. And if they transfer to the partner, they pay the partner just for the fourth year. So as you can see, um, they're still getting the degree from the partner, but they're not paying that US price all four years. Um, so there's a huge financial advantage as well. And I also like to mention um, a few benefits of studying in France, because I think it's an emerging destination for international students. Um, you know, I mentioned our, our program is fully in English, and there are a lot of programs that are um, coming uh, from different uh, universities that are traditionally French universities. They'll have at least one you know, one pathway in English in a lot of those different schools. So that's something that's becoming more and more popular here. Um, students do have stay back options for France. Um, if they graduate in France, they have a year to stay back, um, a year of uh, work visa to stay back and work in France. And that is um, possible to extend if they get a work contract. So they can actually um, end up staying in France, which, you know, gives them access to Europe because we are part of the European community. If a student does um, their internship in France, uh, it is actually a law that they be paid. So every internship that is longer than 60 days in France is paid. Um, so that's a huge advantage. Uh, students receive housing assistance uh, and that's a stipend that they receive um, from day one, even if they're an international student, we help our students to, um, to register for, for this benefit. And essentially they get money back um, directly in their bank account every month to help them pay their rent. And they have the right to work as a student on or off campus. So um, they can work a part-time job. Um, and even students that don't speak French, they manage to find part-time jobs, you know, with babysitting or things like that. So, um, so that's another advantage to, to being a student here from, from another country. So to dive a little bit deeper into the cost of CFAM, these are our, um, our, our fees. So you can look at the first three years there. Um, so if a student does a three plus one, they pay those first three years and then they'll pay the price um, to the partner if they transfer to the partner for the fourth year. Um, we don't do block tuition. As you can see, the numbers are very specific because we do it by course credit. So this is what you um, a student will pay if they, um, follow the program exactly as we've um, designed it to be on target to finish in four years. Um, 
the third year, the price does go down significantly because students are doing an internship at that point. I'll talk a little bit more about that in, in just a second, uh, but they do an internship for one of the semesters of their third year. So that's why that, that price goes down. And then year four, um, so that would be the price for students that stay here for the fourth year, students that are coming at the postgraduate level and do the fourth year. Um, we also have a few exchange agreements with some of our partners in the US. So there are students that can get the exchange price. They have to apply for it, it's competitive, um, but that's available as well um, to Pace and to Siena College. This is the accommodation uh, that most of our students use. We do not have CFAM specific accommodation. We have um, student residences that we work with. Students have to do their applications directly because that's the only way they can get that CAF housing assistance. Um, but we're there to help them. All the websites are in English. It's pretty straightforward, um, but we're there, me and our support services are there in case students have questions or get stuck um, trying to register for housing. This particular uh, apartment that you see the picture of here is directly across the street. And they have um, three different residences. It's a chain. So they have three different residences within about a 10 minute walking distance of campus. Um, and then they have a few more throughout Lyon, which means no more than 10 to 20 minutes commute. It's not a huge city. So students can get here pretty quickly um, from other parts of the city. Some students like to sleep in other parts of the city because then they get to know more than one neighborhood in Lyon. So it just depends, but this one is the one where most of our students live just because of the sheer convenience of being right across the street. And then I've got the price up there, kind of an average price. And that's again, before they get that CAF stipend, um, which usually comes out to be between 100 and 150 euros a month. So you can kind of estimate, you know, if they're paying around five or 600 a month for their apartment, they're usually getting back 100, 150, it depends on the students and their situation and the rent, but you could just kind of have that as an average in your mind um, when estimating cost for a student of, of housing. And it comes with a full kitchen, you know, bed, everything like that. So they, um, they don't, you know, we don't have meal plans or anything like that, that they have to purchase because um, they'll have their kitchen, they can purchase their own food, you know, in grocery stores, et cetera, et cetera. So as far as how the application process works, um, it's a two-step process. So we have an online application and then we have an entrance exam. So we don't require students to send us an IELTS or a TOEFL or anything like that. Um, if they already have one, they can send it to us and we can waive part of the English portion of the entrance exam. If they do not, it's not required. Um, so there is a maths test and there is an English test. We have an English test for native speakers and an English test for non-native speakers. Um, the maths test is mostly for placement because we just want to see what they've done in high school. Um, the admissions decision is based on English level and motivation. And the motivation is discovered through the interview um, that is done with uh, one of our professors. Keep losing my mouse, there it is. Once students are accepted, we require a 3,000 euro deposit towards the first year fees and a study contract in order to enroll. Once they've done that, that's when we send the documents that are needed for them to apply for their student visa. Um, there is a page on our website with links to all the different student residences that we recommend and a couple of alternatives. Um, for anyone who perhaps doesn't want to live in a student residence or if it's an older student coming with family or something like that and they want to get you know a more kind of regular sized apartment we have links to different websites that are easy for international students to use um, and as far as the student visa goes again we provide support services through that whole process but um, the students just go on to campus france they make an account there it's a website um, they upload all the documents that we will have given them and then Campus France comes back to them when it's time to schedule their visa interview. So that's a two-step process as well. And my colleague Camille Garnier is the support service for international students kind of throughout the pre-arrival process. So I'm involved as well. You can contact either one of us um, for questions or anything like that if you get, you know, if a student gets stuck anywhere in that process. Um, but those are those are the steps. 
I'm going to talk really quickly just about student life and about um, internships, and then I'll open it up for questions. So um, I mentioned before how, you know, we're the C family, students are very involved um, with on-campus activities. So we do a lot of clubs and organizations, both for professional development, networking, uh, sport. Um, we have arts associations. We do, uh, we celebrate all of the American holidays. So we do Thanksgiving, we do Halloween. We'll do a big event for any US election. Um, and so students, and that's students go to these, I go to these, professors go to these. So it's very much, oops, it's very much, um, like I said, kind of, a, we're very much a family. We're always um, going to these events together. Everyone gets very involved. It's a very strong community. Um, and then I mentioned internships. And so I wanted to elaborate a little bit on that. Um, students do two internships while they're at CFAM. They do a two month internship and a six month internship. The two month internship is after their first year. The six month internship is after their third year. And so the idea there is that um, for the six month internship, they're getting involved in what they think they want to major in then at the, um, at the partner. Um, students can do the internship in France. They can do it in their home country. They can do it anywhere. Uh, we have students in the US right now doing their internships. We have students that have gone to the Philippines to do their internship anywhere that they want. Um, we do offer support services for those students um, to get placed in an internship. We don't do it for them, but we have our career services office who make sure that students get placed and that they are also prepared um, even from their first year. She's working with them on their CVs, their interview skills, their LinkedIn profile and all of that. So that by the time they're applying for their internship and doing their interviews that they're prepared for that. So I'm just gonna show you a quick video um, with our international students kind of telling you their point of view about CFAM. I'm 19 years old. I am from Azerbaijan. My name is Christian Lupera and I am 18 years old. I'm from Benin, West Africa. My name is Adeline. I come from Argentina. I am 19 years old. So hello, I'm Basil Fleury. I'm from France and I'm 20 and I'm in my second year at CIFAM. My name is Sam. I'm from India. I'm 21 years old. I'm first year student in the CIFAM. Hi, hello, I'm Kaiyun. I come from the south of China. I'm 22 years old. It's my third year in Sifang. Hi, I'm 19 years old. I'm in Philadelphia, the United States. I'm in my second year at Sifang. My name is Clara del Moral. I'm 19 years old. I'm half French and half Spanish. And I'm a freshman in Sifang University. My name is Luna. I'm 20 years old. I am from Madagascar and I am currently a first year student at CIFA. Gorgeous and friendly. Diverse. Family. Uh, friends. Happiness. Vibrant. Diversity. Survival. CIFA is simply superb. I want to get my American diploma in USA. I have French, French, uh, Indian, Chinese, Chris, very fun. Because at the end of your four years, you have the opportunity of having a double diploma. It is the food capital of France, and I am obsessed with food. I came to Stefan for the double degree. You have the opportunity to study in France, and you have experience in US. <laughs> Bienvenidos a Cifam. Bienvenidos a Cifam. Yes. 